you see what I have in my hand. We, I, have to tell the truth today. <sighs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought the sun would be out. That's why I'm recording this outside. We are here. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe if you want to. A bee just flew in my car. We have things to talk about and I'm gonna just get straight to the point. Um, we're here to talk about Dove and we're here to talk about my hair. Real quick before I start and complete this video, I will be recording. Well, I have already started recording, but um, I'm still in the process of recording and, you know, living the journey of getting my hair back to health and, you know, going to my doctor's appointments, doing the things that I need to do. And I am recording that so you guys can see the process. Um, so I can see the process for myself and also to help anyone who is suffering from hair loss or, um, suffering from hair damage and they want to learn how to fix their hair or they want to see the process and journey that I took or even if you just want to watch just because you just want to watch that's fine too about a year ago I did a video on Dove's intensive repair um I did a reaction video to it um well no I did a video trying it for the first time and giving you my reaction my first impressions and in that video you can go watch it if you would like I said how much I love the product I thought the product, first of all, the product smells amazing. Like, this stuff smells so good. Like, oh, it smells good. It may have ruined my hair, but it smells delish. We're going to get to how it messed up my hair in a minute in more details. But it smelled good. I felt like there were only negative thing I had to say in that moment, I believe, was that, like, when I put the shampoo in my hair, it did tangle my hair up. But once I put the conditioner in, it was easier to detangle it, so it was fine. Um, but it smelled really good. It did leave my hair a little bit drying with the shampoo. Actually, it, it did leave it drying with the shampoo. It did tangle my hair with the shampoo. But the conditioner made it better. It did have heavy, like, perfumes in it. And though I smelled that and my hair smelled amazing and I loved that, I didn't think it would be an issue because I've used products with perfume in it before on my hair. But I don't do it often. And I didn't really th take that into account. But I have, so I didn't think it would be a big deal. I will be trying to insert like maybe like clips of pictures or videos or whatever in this video to show you like the difference between before and now. But I mean, if you've been following me for a while or if you just know me personally and you hear that I'm telling you there's a problem and then you just literally look at the picture, or even if you just know me, you can clearly see like, oh yeah, I see what you mean. But it's okay. You know, thankfully I do have hair. I'm not here for it. And I have to be honest about it because one, I did a review and this is like part of, I want to say like a good 40% of the reason why I'm where I'm at right now. And I need to be honest about that, especially if anyone purchased this after watching my video. And then two, I'm going to be recording, you know, the journey of getting back to health after using this and also finding out the things I found out. So we're going to talk about this video as well as I'm going to give you guys more detailed journey in the future so like stay tuned bottom line these products have a lot of like perfumes and in, in it that isn't necessarily good for your hair now i i know most of you would be like well duh anyone knows that okay great but see the difference is okay first of all like i said i've used products with perfume in it before never had this issue i've used it I've never used it, I'll say, like, multiple times. This is the first, like, product with perfume in it that I actually really like that I kept using. But the other ones that I've used, I only used it once, maybe twice, and then I stopped using it because I usually used to use, like, Cantu. Um, I did use, actually, Dove, I think, conditioner or something in the past um, when I was, like, in my early 20s. But lately, I've been using Cantu Shea Moisture, especially when I became natural. So when you look at the bottle and it says, I have it upside down, and it says intensive repair, you're going to think that it's going to do that. Yeah, you smell and you read the ingredients. And let's be real, most of us really don't look at ingredients. And we should, and we're learning that more in, in modern days that that's important. But, you know, realistically, when you're, you know, regular, regular person, busy, you're not trying to read the ingredients every time you go to the store, especially when you got kids and a family, like you're trying to get in, get out. Like it said intensive repair. I seen the commercials. I wanted to try it. It should do what it says. Fast forward. I did that. I tried it. I've used this product. I want to say a solid five to six times. I used it when I did that video for the first time. I want to say I used it again, like the following week. And then I think I used it maybe three or four more times after that. 
So no more than six times I used this product. But I used it enough, more than any other perfume product for hair that I ever used before. And I noticed, I didn't notice it right away. I didn't notice it right away. But over time, I started looking back at videos and pictures of myself that I took and I was like, um, why is my hair gone in the front? And look, you can see, It's growing back, like I said, I and you will see my journey. I've been going to doctor's appointments and stuff. I've been having to take pills. So it's growing back, but look at, that was all gone. Look, it should be lengthy, like the front, like this. This part should be like this, but it's not. It's all gone. Um, same thing with this side. And you can kind of see that my hair is a little thinner. I still have hair, but it's thinner at the ends. The ends are thinner. My hair is starting to grow back thicker at the root, but it still needs to all meet together. So this is going to be like a year, possibly two year process just trying to get this shit back. Like At this time, I wasn't even wearing my hair straight like I am now. I was still natural. I was wearing my hair natural regularly. And that's what really was upsetting because it's like I cut all my hair off five years ago. I think probably six years at this point. Um, I became natural. I stopped using heat because I used to use heat religiously. Stop doing that. I did all these things thinking I'm doing the right things, but my hair is falling out. Why? Then not only is it falling out in the front, but it's thinner. I'm noticing as I'm doing my hairstyles and I'm putting it in ponytails and buds, my hair is thinner at the ends. Um, it's thicker at the root and thinner at the ends. Then also... Um, fast forward to last Thanksgiving, I decided to straighten my hair for the first time in like a year. I straightened my hair and I noticed my hair is just completely different than it was last time I straightened it. It was way thinner. It, the length was still there. Um, length, I don't have an issue with the length. It's the, it's the fullness and even my hair isn't as thick as it used to be. Like it is, but it's more so like, a inconsistent thickness it's like thick at the root and then the middle is like medium thick and then the ends are thin so it's not consistent so it's just like all these inconsistent things happening both when my hair is natural and when it's straightened which I never had issues with so I'm like okay what's the issue so I'm really like worried because I'm like I'm losing hair my hair is thinning it doesn't really even look that good. I mean, people can't tell because I, I know how to do hair so I do a really good job of hiding it usually like but I know it. And I'm like, what's going on? Finally, find a dermatologist. Go to the appointment. Um, she's in LA. I decided to do it in LA because I wanted to go to a good dermatologist. And LA's not too far from me. So I was like, whatever. Like, it's worth it to do it once a month. To whatever. I actually switched doctors. The first doctor was okay. Like, she was fine. But I happened to get a second doctor when I came the second time because I came late and I liked her better. And also, she was of color. So I felt like... Um, I was able to, she was able to relate to me more. And I learned more from her when I went to her uh, visit the first time than I did from the other doctor. So I was like, no, this is my primary dermatologist. I'm gonna stick with her. So like I said, watch my other video that will be in the near future. And that will be more details of the journey as it's going on. But pretty much I found out that I E dummy low on vitamin D. I am super low on vitamin D, like super. Um, they, cause they had to do blood work. They took me to do blood work because you know, but they you know, obviously we don't know right away. So went to get blood work. I got different tests done. The one that stood out to them, um, is that my vitamin D levels were super duper duper low. Um, I think my vitamin D levels, they say like a 30 and above is good or yeah, it's good. A 19 is okay. And I was at a 10. So I was super low at vitamin D. Like had like hardly any so that's why it wasn't it was, my hair wasn't doing good then also too products not good for me these products high in perfume alcohol it was eating up my hair though like i said vitamin d was the main culprit i was already having that issue prior to using this but it wasn't even noticeable because it was once I used this that my hair started like leaving and then I got all these tests done and then they were like oh yeah you're very low on vitamin d however change your routine <laughs> I didn't start noticing my hair falling out in the front and the thinning until after I used this product 
I, and I use this product multiple times. I can go back and you can go back to if you want details. I'll try to put pictures and videos in this video. But before I did this video, I even noticed that my hair was, it was, there was some thinning in the front because like I said, I was very low on vitamin D. So that was already an issue. But these, using these products brought the worst out of my hair. It was like, instead of repairing it, it was like, no, 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 no. We're going to just like strip it all. <laughs> And that's what's crazy to me. It's not really the issue of that it has alcohol products in it or a perfume. And, and like, I just bought it thinking like, oh, it's Dove. Let me just use it. It smells good. No, it says intensive repair. So you think it's going to repair. And that's why I bought the products. Because at the time when my I bought these, my hair wasn't horrible. But I did notice it was thinning a little bit in the front. And I had some heat damage because I was I had recently straightened my hair, I think, prior to that video. So, you know, I was trying to use something that could make it even better. And I also seen the, the commercials and stuff. Don't fall for advertisement because that shit will get you too. And so that's why I bought these to make my hair better and actually did the opposite. It was like my hair was thinning and then I used this product a couple times and then my hair in the front was gone. <laughs> and then my hair started thinning everywhere else. So it was like, instead of repairing it, intensive repair, it intensively removed it. So now I'm going to dermatologists every month, every other month. Um, well, my same, my one dermatologist to um, get my hair looked at every day, every time. You will see the journey with that. Um, like I said, I've been having to take pills. Um, they gave me shampoos, oils. So there's certain things I have to do. Uh, my hair is better than it was. Like I said, this is actually better than what it was four months ago. And you will see that in my other video. Like I said, the journey, it was worse. Um... It was worse all in the front. It was like hardly anything here. It was bad. Um, it's better now, but it's still not good. I, I still don't like the fact that my hair is still like, you know, it's still thinning in the back. You can still kind of see through it some. Um, it's still thinning in the front a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was four months ago when I first realized like, oh my fucking God. Please make sure that you check your vitals, your vitamin levels, um, especially for black women. Um, check your vitamin D levels, please, because that actually, until I went through this, wasn't aware that having very low vitamin D levels is actually the culprit of um, some depression, hair loss, fatigue. It, it, having very low vitamin D levels can actually cause harm to your body in ways that you wouldn't even know until you're like really going through and then you get tested and you're like, whoa. And hair loss is one of them but there's also other things that you can um bad side effects you can receive from having very low vitamin d levels so everyone should take their vitamins everyone should uh, make sure their levels are good but statistics based on the statistics and also based on even what i'm going through and what i read and i even seen a um someone tweet about this literally the other day and i was like oh my god like i went through this same thing and I wish I would have known this sooner, but it's fine because I know now. But um, yeah, it actually is a thing with uh, black women, women of color, but black women specifically, like a lot of us are low on vitamin D levels and we don't even know it, but we are. And that's why a lot of us have hair loss and all these things because we're not getting what we need in our bodies and it's coming out or not coming out. Um, and... There's more I could say. But anyways, have a great day. Um, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. What I'm saying is, if you're going to use a product, make sure that you, if you can, if you have time, read the labels. And if you have even more time, you know, see if you're allergic to it or if your hair likes it. Now, sometimes with products, that's why I had to use it more than once to see. And now I see my hair don't like it. So I got to throw the shit away. But you know, sometimes it does take you having to lose a little bit of something to really see if it works for you or not. And that's just what it is. So I'm not blaming Dove necessarily. The only thing I will blame Dove on is I don't like the fact that it says intensive repair and it literally did the opposite. Now, there may be other women that have no issues and didn't have any hair loss, any problems or anything. So I don't want to sit here and say that Dove necessarily, their product, their intensive repair product doesn't repair. I'll just say for my hair, it didn't.
and it did not work for my hair and I need to throw it away. And I know that, you know, I have type four hair. So you would think like, no, but it doesn't matter. Any type of hair should be able to use a product. And if you can't, it should say on there, this product ain't for type four hair, but it don't say that. And if anything is for intensive repair hair, so it should have intensively repaired it and it didn't. So if there's anyone that has any similar issues or had anything that happened to them that was similar um, with Dove or just any products in general, you can comment down below and let me know. You can share like details, um, advice, like anything, you know, and if you don't want to, that's fine too. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys soon.